you sure we can make money doing this? What if nobody wants their address painted on the curb? Duh, nobody wants their address painted on the curb. We do it without asking, and then they have to pay. We painted your address on the curb, and since you didn't tell us not to, you owe us ten bucks. Wow, a number on the curb. That really clashes the joint up. Only ten dollars to paint my curb like a common whore? Well, I'm happy to pay for a three-digit spray. Tell you what, I'll give you another hundred if you paint my garage. Screw you. I'm never going to pay. Well, then we're going to leave you one digit short. <laughs> <gasps> I'm needed at the door. I have a delivery for a Scott and Brenda Weingarten, 74 Evergreen Terrace. Isn't it wrong to open or eat other people's mail? Son, all our mail has ever brought me is bad things. Bills, jury duty, entertainment weekly. Now for once, I'm getting rich person mail. Ooh, March, you want to go to a wedding of a couple we never met? Strangers getting married? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Mark and Tracy, I remember the first words I heard you say. This says I've won Homemaker Magazine's Cling for a Day contest. Hmm? A highly skilled professional will come to your home and clean it top to bottom while you relax. Mom, what are you doing? Cleaning up before the housekeeper comes. This is a total stranger who cleans houses for a living. Who cares what she thinks? Don't be so naive, Lisa. Those people all talk to each other. Untidy! 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 <laughs> Yet. I don't want that judgmental bitch in my house. <gasps> oh, my head feels like it was punched by a boxing man. Now I have a question. Who are you people? <gasps> When will Marge remember us? It's hard to say. With retrograde amnesia such as this, the patient could forget years and years of her life. You just have to keep jogging her memory till it works. Oh, you're sweet. I'm lucky to have such a kind, uh, uncle. I'm your husband. What? I'm Lisa. I'm eight years old. And this might sound presumptuous, but I'm your favorite. Oh, you seem sweet, but I can never have a favorite. Great news, Marge. We're going home. Yes, the insurance company said you're as well as they're going to pay for. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see what kind of home we live in. Oh, it's great. Now, the doctor said a tour of the town could help bring back your memory. I say Bing Cherries are the most delicious. I say Maraschino. Yeah. It sounds like Duffman took the wrong side in this chicken fight. Oh, yeah. See that ball of fire? That's the sun. I know what the sun is. Yes, now you do. I know that sound. Maggie! Hey, guys! Guess who just became lactose tolerant? Milhouse! You're Bart's best friend! <gasps> I remember Bart! It's so great to have my children back! I better get ready. I'm next. Mm, nope. I'm sorry, Admiral, but you're still a stranger to me. Oh, why do you remember them and not me? I don't know. Maybe there's something unpleasant blocking my memory of you. Okay, all it'll take to unlock your memories of me is one of these blasts from the past. You seem like a colorful character, but I just don't remember you. Maybe if we snuggle, it might rattle some memories loose. I don't even know you. I'm not making love with you. Why can I remember everyone in town except my husband? Simple. Your brain is trying to save you from your backed-up toilet of a marriage. <gasps> this is horrible. We've got to tell Dad. Oh, no. Bart and Lisa are going to tell me something horrible. <laughs> Mr. Simpson? Marge, if I can't make you remember me, then I'll make you fall for me all over again. I've had a Mr. Simpson. Just wait. We're coming to the site of our most romantic night ever. <gasps> no! I'm not the kind
kind of girl who makes love on a putt-putt golf course? Don't you remember, darling? No, and I hope I never do. The best thing that ever happened to me was forgetting about you. <laughs> I'm sorry you have to leave, but I just can't think of another way. I know. Wait, I thought of another way. I stay. Goodbye, Mr. Simpson. Oh. And I want you to know that I deeply respect your... Boo! That works for hiccups, not amnesia. I know. I just thought maybe... Boo! Oh. <coughs> How long are you going to be bunking with me, son? Well, the rest of your life for sure. Welcome to speed dating, you exciting, lonely people. Every five minutes, I'm going to blow this horn, and each man will move one table to his left. Hello there. Yeah, hi. How you doing? So, uh, let's get right to it. I don't drive a Lexus. Oh, don't get quiet on me, please. I hate when they get quiet. Ta-da! I know what you're thinking, but don't worry, I'm old enough to date. <laughs> Derm abrasion! Yeah, I, I was dragged here by my older brothers. We used to be quintuplets, but three of us drowned. <clears throat> I really know where you're coming from. Mm. Ooh la la, I smell romance. It might be Marge. Homer, I don't want to alarm you, but right now we're looking at your wife yucking it up with a good-looking guy. I just think the best thing a person can do for the world is to be clean and polite. Wow. I've got to make a play for her now or I might lose her forever. I've got amnesia and I have three kids. Wow. My first thought is... Respect, both for your mental illness and your ability to get back into shape. My second thought is goodbye. You just walked away from the sweetest, most beautiful woman a guy could want, and you blew her off. Dude, she's got three kids. I... Really? Well, she's still great. I may not know much about you, but you sure know a lot of wonderful things about me. And that means a lot to a woman. I still don't remember you. But for the first time since this happened, I wish I did. I remember everything. You get drunk all the time. Oh. That's why we're such a great team. Mm. 